All right, my video got kind of cut off there. I had a phone call come in, so I apologize. Um, basically, I think I was just talking about that floorboard, but again, that floorboard's solid. Just take a nice wire brush, get it down to that bare metal, uh, put some primer on it, or unless you're lining it, uh, and then primer, and then you can coat it with whatever you're trying to coat it with. Um, other than that, that's about it. I wanted to uh, finish the video with just saying a couple things. Uh, one is everybody's always concerned about shipping. In our day and age, shipping's fairly easy but it can it can definitely vary in price I can get tubs shipped pretty much from Colorado to coast to coast for about 300 bucks but that's only if you have some time and I mean time by it could be a couple days it could be three three weeks um, because I basically the way I do it there is I, I find somebody who's passing by me and passing by you he's got uh, a spot on a trailer truck whatever and we just load him up and he takes it and, and normally that way we can get a fairly good price on it. if you need it sooner than that um, or, or the price is you know reasonable enough for you still to do it this way. I have a guy here that will crate these for 150 bucks, so real nice crate around them. Um, obviously, you keep the the crate. Uh, not no, not sure if you need a dog kennel or something after, but uh, they're nice crates. So anyway, um, crate them, crate them up. Uh, it costs 150 bucks, and then we can get a freight company to pick them up and when they're crated people they can stack on top of and stack below so it it makes it very easy to get these things shipped um, and I can get that shit I can get that done in, in a week it takes a couple days to get a crate built for it and then uh, freight company pick it up and you'll have it two or three days after they pick it up so we can usually get one out within a week typically by the time you get your crate costs involved and the freight company involved you're gonna be above 500 bucks and it can go up to seven eight hundred bucks depending on how far you out are and and if you're along a route it's always going to be cheaper to ship to a business a terminal or a loading dock or something with a forklift especially when it comes to tubs they're not heavy they're awkward but the freight companies will not deliver them to a residence without charging a, a pretty hefty lift gate fee of up to 150 bucks so if you have no other option it has to go to your residence just understand there's going to be another charge on there it's not my charge i wish i could get around it but unfortunately it's what they nail us with so um but if you have a friend who's got a business or even a terminal a local city terminal which we ship a lot to you can just go down to the docks and pick them up so anyway my name is jeremy um one last thing tubs do not come with titles nor vins Okay, so none of that stuff's gonna be on here. If you need a title and VIN, I don't sell them. I will accompany a uh, title and VIN with certain tubs, but they have to go with the majority of the Jeep in order for it to be legal and everything, okay? So if you need a title, title tub, you're gonna end up with the, title, uh, the tub, and I got frames back there, and that's what you gotta buy them with. So, or you can call me and I can give you more information about that. My name is Jeremy, 720-987-8772. And I appreciate you taking the time and watching my videos.